person like Casey Abraham, we all know that innumerable people will come forward to pay tribute. But the family has chosen few. And uh, it is also very hard to limit to speak about Dr. Casey for three or five minutes. But the kind request to those who pay the tributes is that if you could limit your tributes between three to five minutes, it would be good for each one of us. So to begin with, uh, we are supposed to have Dr. C.T. Kurian amidst of us to pay the tribute due to unfortunate situations. He is not able to be here, but he has sent this tribute, which will be read by Reverend Thomas Tom. Dear yeah, brothers and sisters in Christ, I am G.D. Williams cousin. I am privileged to read his letter. Uh, he could not be present here because he had already arranged a cottage prayer associated with his 85th with, uh, birthday. The Reverend Dr. Kurulasi Abraham, or Achen, or Casey, as many of us used to know him, was one of the leading theologians of our time, especially in the Asian context, and rightfully earned a reputation for his original contributions. The many books he wrote on the subject have received critical appreciation. My relationship with Casey were in a different context. Some years ago, church leaders from all over India held a consult consultation on the context of doing theology in India. As I was, and quite legitimately too, considered to be a man of the world, I was invited to make an initial presentation of, on the Indian context. I started out by saying the context of theology always is anthropology. At the end of the session, Casey came up to me and told me that it was a very meaningful statement. I recall this incident to say that in many view, in my view, what gave a special flavor, flavor to his theology was its anthropological context. Let me bring it down to earth. Casey's concern was to bring the word of, word of God alive in the world not in abstract terms, but invariably in its specific human context, whether as director of Satri or as director of ECC or pastor of St. Mark's Cathedral, it is this human touch that made Casey a much sought after preacher at birthday celebrations, wedding services, funerals, housewarmings or whatever. He had the innate ability to enter into each occasion, not only because he knew the subject, but because he knew the people, and people trusted him and turned to him. Those who turned to him were not only Christians, but people of all faiths and of no faith at all. Wherever there was a human need, he was there. One area where Casey and I worked closely together was on understanding globalization that suddenly appeared as much a talked about topic in the early 90s. I recall a long conversation that we had on the subject. He also invited me to communicate it in a language that those who were not specialists in the subject would understand its meaning and implications. And if I was becoming a bit too technical, he would intervene and say, tell us what it would mean to ordinary people that was quite a challenge at times, but the message was that whether it was theology or economics, it had to be made relevant for people. Let me close recalling my latest interaction with him just a few weeks before he passed away. The lay leaders of St. Mark's Cathedral, where my wife and I are members, invited me to prepare a brief note on the relationship between the laity and the clergy in a congregation. In order to make it specific, I took the St. Mark's congregation and prepared what I thought, what thought was a comprehensive note. I sent it to Casey for his comments. His comment was that it was too gentlemanly and that I need to address specific issues. However, 
inconvenient and unpleasant they were. That taught me another dimension of what it means to be with people. It did not mean being goody-goody, but to speak the truth in love. I would have learned to, more, to learn more about it from him. But that was not to be, not to be thought. And that was not to be thought. It enabled me to understand Casey better. He was not only speaking the truth, he was doing it too. He, as Fred Kahn puts it in one of his hymns, in living situations, do the truth in love. Casey made it a point to understand people in their living situations and to stand by them doing the truth in love. I will miss him and his guidance.